Hi guys, my name is Deep Turing Lecture and in this video we're going to learn about how a Cisco firewall actually behaves by default. Here you can see the inside and here you can see the outside. Why it is written inside and outside? The thing is that over here this is a firewall and maybe its interface is 0 slash 0 and it could be interface 0 slash 1. That means when you assign an IP address on firewall such as 192.168.1.1 and over here 100.1.1.1 it's slash 24 and it is slash 24 again there you can see that this firewall has been assigned with an IP address and you do no shutdown right and then you do no shutdown but even defining no shutdown this firewall never shows you the assigned IP address why because the firewall works in zones now what do you mean by zones by defining zones zones actually is the name for a specific interface that means if this is an interface Zero, zero that means I'm going to assign a name to that interface and that could be inside as written over here and if it's fast ethernet 0 slash 1 or ethernet 0 slash 1 I'm going to assign a name as outside you can define your own name as well you can define your name you can define any other names you define it but the thing is that when you define the zone name you actually have to define the security level as well and what do you mean by security level security level ranges from 0 to 100 that means the highest security level always dominates lower security level number how is that possible let's say if this is inside and I have defined security level of 100 over here and I have defined security level of 0 that means I'm actually defining that inside zone is trusted and more reliable and outside is untrusted zone why we are defining trusted and untrusted zone trusted means from this interface all the traffics are allowed by default and untrusted means you are not allowed coming inside through this interface that's what the firewall actually behaves by default so the thing is that you have your own choice or option to define the security level the name can be defined by yourself and you can name any of the name uh, based upon your interfaces or based upon what you actually want to define and the thing is that when you define inside it is predefined in the Cisco firewall that if you define the name inside by default it's going to take the security level of 100 and when you define outside or any other name the security level is actually defined as zero that means untrusted so when you define any other name it's going to be zero you can just manually change it just like that on your own so what does that uh, what does this actually hundred and zero means let's say this inside is hundred and this outside is zero that means all the TCP and UDP traffic is allowed from inside to outside TCP and UDP traffic specifically all right so higher security level dominates lower security levels so all the traffic from inside can go outside and what is defined by zero that means no traffic that means not no traffic but uh, specifically TCP and UDP is denied by default from outside to inside that means it's untrusted zone so I'm not going to allow TCP and UDP from outside to inside and by default ICMP that you use for ping right just to check the reachability from inside to outside or outside to inside 
the ICMP is denied by default. So that means if there is a computer inside and there is a computer inside, they can ping to each other. It's okay, totally fine. They can check the reachability in between them. But the thing is that if this PC wants to check the reachability between this PC and this PC, that means ICMP is denied. So that means this PC cannot actually initiate a ping request. And this PC cannot even reply to that ping request because it actually has to go through the firewall and firewall actually denies the ICMP. So by default, from higher security level to lower security level, TCP and UDP is allowed. From lower security level to higher security level, TCP and UDP is denied. And ICMP by default, either from inside to outside or outside to inside, ICMP is denied. So Cisco ASA actually behaves like this by default. So think as an inclined plane over here. Let's say the higher security level and the lower security level. That means if you release a brawl from here, it can actually get down with no external force, right? But if you want to actually want that ball to go from down to up or uh, you want to throw that ball to uh, the 100 side, that means it has to have an external force such as you have to throw or in firewall term, you have to use access control list to allow from lower to higher when you define any traffic coming from outside to inside all right so you have to define access control list and access control list can actually change a firewall's default behavior so that you can actually allow outside traffic to go inside with the help of this acl all right so this is how a firewall by default behaves thanks for watching i'm going to meet you on my next video Thank you guys.